In this tutorial, we will look at MSU Codex, the finding thereof, downloading, and installing. If you go to Google and type in MSU Codex, you'll come up with several pages. Um, the top two should be compression.ru. One will be for the screen capture lossless codec, and the other is for the lossless video codec. Um, let's start with the second one first, the MSU Screen Capture Lossless Codec. I first discovered this codec watching several videos on YouTube in which different people were talking about the best settings for um, doing tutorials. And I noticed in their video that there would be this codex called the uh, MSU Screen Capture Lossless Codec, which sounded good. I also found reference to this in several of the high-end forums where they talk about different uh, video issues. So that's how I was led to download the MSU Screen Capture Lossless Codec. How you came to decide that you wanted to download it is your own business. I wouldn't venture to counsel you for or against. I happen to be having good luck with it and if you decide to use it I hope you do as well. But as far as I can tell this whole video area is definitely buyer beware. There's quite a few pitfalls. Anyway, enough said about that. If you've decided to download the codex I would definitely go to the compression.ru website. There you will find um, some information about the codec. I'm going to scroll down and there's change logs and you'll also see some charts, examples of it in use, some general text about it, plus a link for some samples to see what's happening with it. Um, here's a frame from the sequence. Of course now you're looking at it through the YouTube so it could very easily look uh, very chopped up. But if you go to the website you'll be able to see in your browser the crystal clarity of their uh, screenshots. It's a nice codec. Anyway, here's the installer. I'm just going to click on it with my left mouse button and it's taking a little while. Here we have the uh, save file option. I click yes. Part of the video that I probably just cut out was me navigating to this folder. Don't need to see all of the junk on my uh, computer. Here's the uh, MSU uh, C CS, short for Screen Capture Codex, the EXE. I'm going to install it in my Downloads Codec folder. I just click Save. It's done. So now I go to my Downloads folder. I'm using Firefox if you don't recognize some of these uh, windows and little icons. This is Firefox. So I double click this. The Firefox does have a built-in security in which it asks me, you know, yo, dude, you're about to open up an EXE file. Are you sure you want to do it? And I answer yes. Now there's another security software on my computer that's asking me the same question. I don't mind these questions because I don't want to accidentally run an EXE file when I think that I'm opening up a uh, JPEG in my Photoshop. So I don't mind the questions at all. I click Run. Here we have the actual MSU Screen Capture Lossless Codex install. There's a lot of information in this little pop-up window. In addition to the license agreement, it tells you where the download came from in case you wanted to check it out or find the website again. I don't know about you, but I've often lost websites that I have a download from and I have no clue on where I got it. This gives you all that data. I'm going to click yes that I want to do the install. 
My Bitdefender security program is asking whether I want to allow my registry to be modified and I'm going to click allow and here's a little window popping up saying it is done so I'm just going to click OK and I will clear my downloads list and we are done with this section however you may recall that there were two codexes listed when we did this search the first being a lossless video codex so let's look at this page it's free for non-commercial use if you want to use it in a commercial project they have a not cheap but reasonable pricing they give you the change log for what's been changed in the different versions and they give you some ratio tests and a nice fun graph where they compare various codexes and their performance and you'll even find down below some links to download videos that they've prepared so you can compare I've made the decision to work with this codex so I downloaded it and installed it you'll notice that this is a fairly o old codex it's from 2005 it seems to be working fine for me however uh, your mileage may vary as they say I just click the link with the left mouse button I'm going to save the file I will save this into the same codex folder it's done it's a fairly small download I'll double click that Firefox again doing its security thing my Windows security software doing its security thing and here we have the license um, fun interesting stuff to look at bottom line I have two buttons either yes I accept the license and install it or I say no I don't accept it and the install quits so I quit, click yes again we change a registry entry and it's done installing so I click OK clear my downloads list and I have just successfully installed the MSU video codex both for screen capture and for video the purpose for this video was to walk you through what will happen if you start clicking on buttons I don't know about you but sometimes I like to know ahead of time what's going to be expected of me and also what's not going to be expected of me notably these installs did not have any Google toolbars, Yahoo toolbars, um, poopy head toolbars, whatever. There were no toolbars that were being forced upon me. So you don't have to be hyper diligent. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of Zone Alarm and other companies trying to trick me into forgetting to uncheck a box or accidentally clicking a box that turns my system into a trial instead of the free version or installs a toolbar that I don't want or need so it's nice for a little preview so you can see that that's not what's happening here anyway good luck with your installs and uh, let me know in this channel if you have any questions about what's happening and uh, we'll go from there